Welcome to my channel, Smart Kiddos. My name is Pratiksha, and today I'm going to continue in the Scratch It Coding series for kids and beginners. Very, very simple. So in my previous videos, I taught you how to make other Scratch It projects, and I also created a series which teaches Python coding for kids and beginners. Very, very simple. So if you haven't seen those videos, please do check them out later. What are we going to learn today in this video? Today we're going to learn how to make a catching object game in Scratch It. So let's start. So we're going to make a game which involves a monkey as the player and the monkey is going to catch the bananas that are falling from the trees. So that is why I have renamed this project to Catching Bananas Game. Okay, first step, we're going to make the player. Let's first delete this scratch cat or sprite one. And I'm going to hover over this cat symbol and I'm going to choose a sprite from the scratch library. So I'm going to go to animals and I'm going to scroll down to see if I can find a monkey. Okay, so I found this adorable monkey, so I'm going to use this monkey for my game. Okay, so I'm going to go to costumes, and I'm going to delete this costume and this costume. Now I'm going to add an accessory for the monkey, which is the bowl that is used to catch the objects. Now let's make a awesome backdrop to match our theme. We need to make trees. So I'm going to hover over this backdrop button and click on paint a backdrop to create our specific backdrop. I have made the backdrop with the trees and now let's get started with the code. Let's go to the code section and start with the code. I'm going to select the monkey sprite and I'm going to drag when clicked. So when we start the program by clicking on the green flag, I'm going to drag an if statement. So you can go to control and drag this if statement block. So if something, so if, go to sensing section and drag key and let's change this to right arrow so whenever you click on the right arrow in your keys in your laptop or computer we want this monkey sprite to move to the right. So let's go to motion and drag change x by 10. So x by 10 means it's a positive number and x means horizontal. So the monkey will move horizontally to the right. Now, of course, we want the monkey to move to the left as well. So I'm just going to copy paste this section control c control v and i'm going to drag this here and just change this to left arrow and change this to negative 10. so negative 10 means left side the negative numbers means the left side so let's run this program and see what happens to the monkey before that let's drag him down to the ground over here let's see what happens so Hey, why is it not working? I'm clicking on the right arrow key and the left arrow key. Hmm, what's wrong? We are missing an important piece of code. That's why this program is not working. We need to drag the forever loop. Yes. Now make sure to put both the if statements inside the forever loop. Now why is the forever loop block so important? Well, whenever we run the code, we should always make sure that these statements or these code work. No matter how many times we run it, this program should always work. That's why we have dragged this forever loop.
I already selected a sprite from the Scratch library, which is the bananas, and I've given these three lines of code. So whenever the program is started, or whenever we click on the green flag, go to random position. Now, what does this mean? It will go to the random position, but only at the top of the screen. Why? Well, we have given set Y to 185. Set Y to 185 means the banana will always be at the top, but it will always be at the top at a random position. I'm just going to click on this code and show you what I mean. So do you see the bananas? It's going in a random position, but it's only at the top. Fantastic. I've added some extra lines of code here. Now, what does this do? When green flag clicked, meaning when the program started, forever loop, change y by negative 7, meaning the banana will move down. Now, if y position is less than negative 170, what does this mean? Well, when the banana hits the bottom, the position of the banana is less than negative 170, always. So, if y position is less than negative 170, then again, it should go to 185, which is at the top. So set y to 185 means the top. And it should go to the random position, but always it should be at the top. Basically, this code over here, we have copy pasted it and put it right over here. And whenever we run the green flag, you can see here the banana always goes to the top at the random position, only at the top of the screen here. Awesome. Okay, so you can see the banana is forever going down and going up. So it looks like multiple bananas are falling and we are able to move the monkey sprite or the player using the right and left arrow keys. But whenever we touch the banana, whenever the monkey player touches the banana, we should add some points, right? Because the monkey has caught the banana. So let's add that code now. Okay, now I've added some lines of code again for the banana sprite. And when clicked, forever loop, if touching monkey. So whenever the banana touches the monkey, what we do is we're going to create a variable. So go here to variables and let's create our own variable. So make a variable and let's name it points and click on OK. So we have our variable points. So let's drag this block change. Let's select our variable points. So change by one. So whenever we run the program, you can see it changes, but it changes by a lot. That's not what we want. How can we fix this? Well, I have added wait one second. So whenever the banana touches the monkey, then wait one second, and then the variable will change by positive one. So that whenever the banana touches the monkey, it doesn't change by a lot. It just changes by one. I've added this blocks of code as well. So whenever the banana touches the monkey, it should also go up, right? So that's why I've added this code here. And I just wanted to add a few things. Number one, whenever we start the program, you see the points is 152. I want to, you know, change that. So how can we change that? Well, we can go to variables and we can set my variable to zero. So when we run this code, okay, yes, we forgot to change this to points, right? Now it'll work. When we run this code, you can see it starts from zero. So that's great. It's super fun, right? But you can see here that whenever it just touches the monkey's head, it goes up. We don't want that, right? So how can we fix this? To make sure that the banana will only go up when the banana touches the bow, we should remove this line of code. Instead, we should go to sensing and drag touching color. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this color and select this symbol and select the bow color, this brownish color. Okay, and what if it touches the black, right? So let's just copy paste this again and select 
the symbol and select the black color as well. And I'm going to drag and and put this here and put this over here and then drag this to the top okay and let's do the same thing for here just copy paste this Control c Control v and drag this for this lines of code as well so this is optional but it's even more perfect right it looks even more nice so you can see that this game is super fun, but it's missing one more thing. Yes, sound. So go to sounds here and hover over the sound button and choose a sound from the Scratch sound library. And let's see, let's go to effects and let's just click on this one. That sounds nice. Once we have selected the sound, go to code and drag here, start sound connect. Let's run this. Yay, we have finished the project. Now make sure to save the project by going to file and clicking on save now, or you can just click on save now right over here. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. Bye!